Tony Robbins, a best-selling author, entrepreneur, and the world's number one life and business strategist, this time focuses his attention on the topics of vitality, strength, energy, and curing disease. In the book Life Force, Tony and his co-authors introduce the latest medical and scientific advances available to extend the length and quality of our life. They explain in a simple way new technologies like gene therapy, stem cells, and hormone replacement therapy in order to give the reader hope and vision for the future. Tony Robbins gathers information from more than 100 of the world's top medical minds and gives tips and tools to live a long, happy, healthy life. At Read and Grow, we believe that books can change your life. Whatever your situation is, someone out there has gone through the same and shared the lessons in a book. Subscribe and join us on our quest to solve problems one book at a time. Explaining the longevity lifestyle and diet, the author emphasizes that heart disease and other chronic illnesses can be reversed by optimizing four factors. How you eat, how active you are, how you respond to stress, and how much emotional support you receive. Tony Robbins quotes Dr. Ornish, according to whom heart disease, diabetes, prostate cancer, breast cancer, and even Alzheimer's disease are not fundamentally different diseases. He claims that they all share the same underlying biologic mechanisms, things like chronic inflammation, oxidative stress, telomeres, or angiogenesis. For the vast majority of chronic diseases, you can find the same lifestyle recommendations because they really are the same disease. Telomeres are the protective caps at the end of your chromosomes, much like the plastic tips on your shoelaces. As you age, your telomeres tend to shorten, causing your cells to malfunction and die. As your telomeres get shorter, your life gets shorter too. But you aren't powerless in the face of this decline. Research has shown that adults who exercise consistently have longer telomeres than those who lead sedentary lifestyles. The biggest threats to your health are preventable. The evidence shows that the typical Western diet isn't working. Too much sugar, meat, fat, salt, and too many calories. Eating too many refined carbs causes chronic inflammation and many of the mechanisms that underlie these chronic diseases. Dr. Ornish's solution is to replace bad carbs with good carbs, mostly fruits, vegetables, whole grains, legumes, and soy products. You can sum it up like this. Eat food, not too much, mostly plants. Your longevity weekly checklist looks like this. 1. Hydrate. 2. Eat foods closest to their natural source. 3. Decrease disease risk consuming cruciferous vegetables. 4. Commit to a structured eating window. Fast for a 12 to 16 hour window each day. 5. Stay consistent with sleep. 6. Get strong. 7. Strengthen your heart and lungs and build endurance with cardiovascular exercises. 8. Consider the power of using heat and cold. Frequent sauna use stimulates the immune system, lowers blood pressure, reduces inflammation, and improves cardiovascular function. 9. Train your brain with daily breath work and meditation 5 to 20 minutes per day. The author emphasizes the power of sleep, the third pillar of health. A lack of sleep is also associated with a heightened risk of developing Alzheimer's disease and dementia. The shorter you sleep, the shorter your lifespan. He recommends practical steps to improve your sleep. The sixth pillar of health, building muscle mass, is as important to health as blood pressure and how much you weigh. Sitting is the new smoking. If you're looking for an effective program, you should focus on a minimum of four exercises, squats, lunges, push-ups, and planks, which will increase your muscle power. He claims that it is not enough to be aerobically fit and to have muscular strength, you also need flexibility and mobility. The author discusses the top killer diseases nowadays and the measures to be taken. Heart disease. Tony Robbins is convinced that we have the power to influence our heart health through factors that we can control, choosing the right foods to eat and avoid, maintaining a healthy body weight, limiting our alcohol intake, not smoking, getting sufficient sleep, and exercising regularly. He also believes in revolutionary techniques and technology that help. The power of stem cells, gene therapy, the literal building of new hearts, ghost hearts. Cancer. It is now widely understood that the immune system normally provides protection against cancers. 
Tony recommends prevention, precision diagnostic testing, radical change of mindset, and shifting the focus from sick care to well care, from reactive medicine to proactive medicine. Of 71 chemotherapy drugs for solid tumors, the median survival edge is 2.1 months. There is another weapon besides surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation therapy, and that is immunotherapy. The immune system can eliminate cancer. The book explains in depth the role of T cells and seven other forms of therapy, such as checkpoint inhibitors, personalized cancer vaccines, natural killer cells harvested from human placentas, and more. One especially powerful tool to prevent autoimmunity is an anti inflammatory diet. Scientists regard inflammation as a key culprit in aging and specifically in cancer. Diabetes and obesity. These are a double threat. The number one factor for someone dying from COVID in 2020 to 2021 was age. The average age was 80. The second biggest factor was obesity. Studies have shown that 78% of those who died from COVID were overweight or obese. Losing a substantial amount of weight can reverse type 2 diabetes. When you take away the fat, the beta cells, they produce insulin in your pancreas, regenerate start producing insulin, and the diabetes disappears. He points out two solutions against the double threat. Radically reduce your intake of sugar and shift your diet to high-quality foods, healthy fats, and slow carbs. Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's strikes roughly 10% of people over 65. In the 85 and up set, it's more than one in three. The toll is enormous for patients, their loved ones, and society as a whole. The author shares new scientific developments and approaches, breakthrough solutions like blood tests that can predict Alzheimer's, more than 50 drugs that prevent dangerous proteins from taking root, clearing toxins from the brain, vaccines in late-stage clinical trials, psychedelic mushrooms, and more. He points out some lifestyle changes that can help, such as getting enough sleep, reducing stress, social interaction, exercise, and diet. One of the most powerful things you can do to head off dementia is to use a hearing aid if you need one. When your ears aren't processing information at the level they used to, your brain doesn't process the same way either. We are all looking for an extraordinary quality of life. Good health is the foundation, but people can be physically healthy and still miss out on the quality of life they desire because they haven't mastered their own mind. A positive mindset can reverse the aging process. The placebo effect is a fascinating example of your mindset at work. Our lives are controlled by three decisions. One, what we decide to focus on. Focus equals feelings. If you focus on the best case, you're going to feel confident. Two, what does this mean? For example, is this person insulting me, coaching me, or loving me? The meaning you choose will change how you feel and what you decide to do. Three, what am I going to do? This choice leads either to massive action or accepting life as it is. Tony Robbins believes that biography is not destiny. Often, people who were given everything, love, support, education, money, can find themselves going in and out of rehab when those who went through the most injustice often develop a hunger to break through the limits of their past. Everyone will experience extreme stress at some point in their lives, and we should develop strength that makes us resilient. We must learn to discipline our disappointment. There are two worlds we need to master, the external world and the internal world. He calls these the science of achievement, how to turn your dreams into reality, and the art of fulfillment, how to live in a beautiful state. The most important decision that you can make is to decide that life is too short to suffer and that you are going to appreciate and enjoy this gift of life no matter what happens. Life doesn't adapt to us. It is our job to adapt to life. Living in a beautiful state means to find the beauty, find something to be grateful for, something to appreciate, and then solve your problem. If you're interested in the subject of health and longevity, go ahead and check out our other summaries on this topic.